are visually impaired, you typically need another person to help or to confirm that you're wearing the right outfit and in a style you intended. With this insightful range, there's no assistance required. Bellini, it is a privilege to meet you. And I have to say, your jacket looks amazing. It is part of your clothing range. What exactly makes it so special? So this jacket is designed for visually impaired people. So the label that you have on the back of your clothing, this jacket has it in braille. So it tells you the color of the garment, the size, the wash care label, all in braille for visually impaired people to assist them with their daily clothing choices. This is a truly groundbreaking concept. What inspired you? What made you think outside the box? I had an uncle who was visually impaired and being around him and, and identifying his daily struggles when it came to clothing, light bulbs clicked. And I said, as a fashion designer, how can I be innovative and design something that helps him be more self-reliant when it came to choosing clothing? So that's how the whole research study came about in developing this braille identification system. Independence has one meaning to a visually impaired person and another to someone who's been economically disadvantaged. Bellini is making a difference in both cases. Hello, ladies. Hello. Oh, I feel like I'm at the back room of a very high-end fashion house. What goes on here, Bellini? Being new in this community, I engaged with um, some of the local ladies, sharing my skills and teaching others and empowering women to better themselves in fashion and teaching them sewing classes. Did you always have a love for sewing? Not at all. Growing up in a home where my mom and dad work in the construction field, I always grew up wanting to be an architect. After finishing school, I enrolled in my first year of doing architecture, and I got in the class and I was like, no, this isn't for me. So I said, why not study fashion and textile design? So I did enroll at DUT, Durban University of Technology, and my first class there was learning how to sew, so that was the first time I ever touched a machine. But maybe I can try my hand at sewing. Basic sewing opens opportunities for an independent income. Though Masi Chava Molozzi wasn't so sure about this student. Masi, can you give me a couple of pointers to make sure that I leave you with all my fingers intact? Yeah, you must keep your fingers away from the needle and you make sure that your cloth is straight. Seems simple enough, but the proof is in the pudding. Let me have a try. Driven by Bellini's strength and determination, Fez was ready to embrace this new discipline. Okay, keep it straight and hands away. Hands away from the needle and press your pedal like you're driving slowly. Okay, okay, here we... Ooh. Slowly, slowly, slowly. That's way more horsepower <laughs> than I thought was in there. Uh, okay. <laughs> keep the fabric straight. Straight, straight. Yeah, no, that was not even straight, eh? <laughs> this is not my calling. This is clearly not my calling. <laughs> to each their own. This social entrepreneur and her collection made 2018's Design in Daba Emerging Creatives program. You've recently tied the knot. Did you end up designing your own wedding dress? I designed a dress that was more my style, more minimalistic, more chic, more inspired by architecture and um, that would express who I am as a person. So it's more minimalistic, chic and just me. <laughs> Having had the pleasure of spending the entire day with you, you really are the epitome of elegance. But I've been eyeing that jacket out. Can I possibly get one on me? Sure we can. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Not quite for me. This is the one. Maybe you should? Sure, yeah. Brilliant. Beyond the practicality of Bellini's collection, the hip designs in muted colors are a youthful statement in style, a priority for the nearly quarter of all visually impaired people who are between their mid-teens and 30s. It fits like a glove, and I have to admit, it feels like a mixture of, is it velvet, suede, it's so soft. I've used different variations of knit fabrics um, that has more of a texture and a feel, and more soft onto the body. And I love how the braille 
comes through in all sorts of unexpected ways. How did you get it onto the garment? Well, it's a technique that I've developed at um, university and it doesn't wash off the garments. So it's uh, printed on each garment and it goes in the washing machine, doesn't come off, it's there for life. I was feeling the jacket and it seems like the material on the inside and on the outside match. Was that intentional? Yes, it is intentional. I made both these jackets reversible so that visually impaired people don't have to worry about which way the wear their jacket. So it's another way of pushing it being more innovative and creative as a designer. Clearly a lot of thought and effort has gone into these one-of-a-kind garments and the future feels very bright for the Bellini range. As this exceptional young woman says, what we do for ourselves dies with us, but what we do for others lives forever.